Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Adil. Uh, I'm a chemical engineer and a freelance professional photographer, videographer, drone pilot, sneaker collector, uh, Call of Duty player. Yeah, to name a few. If you want to check what's going on the latest around me with my work, you can always check my Instagram page. Uh, that's the one I use more frequently. So I started uh, FPV around two years back uh, during the Corona times. And for those of you who don't know what FPV drones are, these are like first person view drones. These are manually built by you, by someone, or now you even get them like ready to fly or bind to fly. Uh, versions. Uh, this is my latest build, as you can see. I started with FR Sky RXSR uh, transmitter, uh, had range problems from day one, and very quickly moved to R9 MM R9 Mini series. It was good at the start, but I don't know why my drones kept falling out of the sky for no reason. And my FPV friends here in Kuwait were telling me that you should go crossfire, long range crossfire. So I was like, no, R9 is also uh, like. Uh, the long range of FR Sky. Yeah, eventually, like three, four months back, I went to Crossfire. And yes, from the first flight, I could feel the difference. The difference um, in terms of the range, the difference in terms of the link quality and going behind the walls and yeah, the signal not breaking. Yeah, took some time for me to have my full faith and confidence in their product because yeah, two years flying in FR Sky and always having that fear that you, you don't know uh, fall out of the sky. Uh, on the other hand, I was also um, thinking of changing my VTX. Although this VTX is very new and this was recommended highly by the sales representative of one of the leading websites I shop from. Uh, no, no good, no good. Even complain and at the end how they closed the topic was that you maybe got a bad unit or stuff like that. So I was like, okay. I was again determined to go to Team Black Sheep and the product I was really looking for was the Unify uh, Pro 32. To my uh, luck, it was out of stock everywhere on all websites. So yeah, I gave up the search and uh, yeah, took a break. Um, and then like one month back, I was uh, just browsing through the website and just saw a new product uh, called Crossfire 69. And uh, yeah, 69, yeah, what's happening? So yeah, here it is. It's the Crossfire receiver and the Pro uh, Unify 32 video transmitter all in one chip for the price of 50 bucks of course i just went straight away bought it and i received this like two weeks back so here i am today the real topic of this video is for this product pbs crossfire 69 yeah let's check this okay uh okay the 20 by 20 and yeah the heat shield yeah mountings and uh, immortal v2 antenna and uh, the sma connector the wiring and our beautiful beautiful all-in-one powerful crossfire 69 so the radio antenna on the right side, radio antenna on the left side, and the wiring connector, beautiful board. Now we'll take the all-in-one Crossfire 69 and solder it to my FPV drone. Uh, let's go. For the 69, um, we'll be using the wire harness. Uh, the first one being the power. As per the website, it says it's from 5.5 volt to 36 volt. So most of the pads which we have on the flight control are five. Uh, on my board, I do have one nine volt. So I'll be using that. So there's nine volt and uh, uh, ground. So the red one will go in the nine volt ground. Uh, and then there is this uh, orange cable. Uh, this is video out. So in case you want to power up your camera, you can use this one directly to the camera, but my camera is already connected over here. So I won't be using this one. And this is the ground. I'll not be using this one. Uh, we have yellow. Yellow is the video. And then we have another white. Uh, this one is for the audio. Um, a black for the audio ground. We won't be using these. And then we have a white. 
which is the Rx, and then we have the green, which is the Tx. So let's get into it. I'll put some flux on my board. For soldering 101, um, you need to heat the board, not the solder. Oh yeah, this is ground, so ground takes a little more time to yeah, melt, because it's ground. Okay, we got the red, so now it's a turn of the black, like in the ground. Okay, so we have power. Uh, the next is the video out, which we don't want to use the ground of this video out. And then is the video, we want to use the video, do the same thing, remove it a little bit, just a tiny few, don't do it on the board. So we already have a VTX over here, and this was this has uh, uh, the power connected here, and a bunch of cables over here. I think we'll remove the yellow pad from here, which is red, and uh, we'll use that one for our VTX. So right now I'll just remove all these cables for this VTX, which we won't be using. This was the video pad. Just refresh the solder over here okay and we'll take the video from our harness and try to put it inside once again perfect we also have a VCC I think which is the board voltage for this VTX so this VTX has been completely disconnected by the way, the ones which we are not using, we can remove them. We can unplug them. Uh, we can unplug them from here, uh, or we can just uh, cut them if you want. So the TX one will go into the RX pad, and the RX cable will go into the TX pad. By the way, this is our earlier uh, crossfire, so we're going to remove this now because we don't need it. So we'll see which pad uh, it was using so yeah this will help us so green again being the tx this will go in rx and rx is over here the the yellow one is rx so we'll put this the green one in the yellow one remove this one in q RX removed. I mean, the cable from RX pad removed. Solder updated. And this one again. We'll try to get it in. And success. Amazing. So this is. TX6, so this one will have the RX cable, which is right next to this one. I think we nailed it. Yep. So we have completed all the connections uh, required uh, to connect the 69 to our flight controller. And now I'll just clean up, remove all the existing wirings and the VTX RX and uh, show you the updated view. Uh, as you can see, the build has been completed. I used uh, the standoffs uh, on the 20 by 20. Yeah, I did put some uh, hot glue on the VTX and the uh, RTX uh, connectors because uh, they were continuously moving. So I was just worried that they might just come off. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's try to bind it now. So now on the computer, I'm going to open my TBS Agent X and we need to update our transmitter, uh, the TX, like in my case, the Micro TX to the latest version. So I'll just uh, turn on my 
remote control and go to settings and uh, I have the latest version it says current 6.09 uh, power up of quad okay we go to the settings and we go to the bind the light on the 69 is blinking green nothing happening so far still says binding there's one thing which we can do we can just go to the frequency and make this uh, 868 and go back and then try combining it again something's happening yep and the computer says bind update micro rx say confirm updating the receiver and the light pattern on the 69 has changed right now the receiver is being updated so the trick was to change the frequency to 915 to 800 something 868 and then bind and then it will bind our says loading don't interrupt we won't trust us binding has been completed and see the light is all green the radio has the signals so that wraps up the video uh, thank you very much for staying with me for that long and if you have any questions comments suggestions please don't hesitate to like ask and uh, yeah the usual like comment share the like on and uh, yeah see you in the next one take care bye <laughs>